hi welcome to Vanita's kitchen and thank you for joining us what I'm going to be making for you today is seven layer dinner I can remember this dish as a child my dad used to make it quite often uh, because it contains mostly vegetables and one meat of choice and um, his meat of choice used to be bologna or Vienna sausages if anybody knows what that is um, I'm going to be using today um, sausages and it's uh, two different kinds pork sausage and all beef sausage what I'm going to do first is uh, start frying my sausages um, with uh, if you were using bologna well you don't need to part cook it because you can layer it with your uh, vegetables but I want to take some of the grease off of my sausages first so I'm using a pork sausage and I've already cut up um, some of them there now and it's about a pound you can all depends what size of a, a dish you want to make um, I'm using um, a larger pan and so this one is the one that we're going to be layering um, so I got about a pound and a half pork and meat sausages so I'm going to just toss this now into the fryer Okay, so I'm just going to put that right into the pan and I'm, I'm just thinking there's not much need of showing you to fry up sausages because as we all know we've, we've all done that a good many times. You're going to lightly grease your pan and use a pan of choice. I'm going to, I just put a little bit of olive oil in there. You could put vegetable oil, you could use uh, margarine, butter, whatever you've got on hand. So while we're waiting for our sausages to fry, I'm going to just tell you a few, few of the other ingredients that we're going to be using. We're going to be using potato, just lightly um, cut, and the same thing with the carrot. And we're going to have round slices of onion. We're going to have three potato, three carrots, and three medium onions. We got a quarter cup of rice of choice, a can of uh, tomato soup, and then about a half a can or to a can, it all depends what size of a casserole dish you're going to use, of water because the reason for that is you want to rinse out your can and just dilute your tomato soup a slight bit. And we got a can of, of green peas with the juice. So just remember, we're only going to partly cook the sausage. I just want to take off some of the, the grease from it. Um, so the only seasoning we're going to be using is a bit of salt and pepper. Um, you could use more if you want to. The same thing with the tomato soup. Some people don't like to use tomato soup in their dishes. You could use uh, pasta sauce. You could make your own sauce. Um, and some people like using ketchup. But I mean, like I said, you decide which one is good for you. But this recipe calls for tomato soup. So I'm going to start layering the vegetables now into our casserole dish. So basically the reason why it's called a seven layer dinner, um, it's seven ingredients. So basically which is potato, carrot, onion, rice, and you've got your green peas, and you've got your tomato soup, and your meat of choice, which I picked sausage, and you can, like I said, if you like to put bologna in it, that is fine too. So basically, we're going to layer the bottom of the pan with the potatoes first. Okay, so we're going to be just doing a little lightly season over the potatoes of some salt and pepper. Next, we're going to be spreading our onions. Now remember, if you don't like onions, you could use onion seasoning, but you definitely have to substitute the vegetables. So, because it is seven layer dinner, so you need seven layers. Uh, maybe use a turnip or, or something uh, that you may like, celery, you decide what that vegetable would be, but definitely you'll need a little bit of flavor of onion. So that's our layer of onion in there. Okay, it's looking good already and there's only our potatoes and onions. So another sprinkle of pepper and the same with the salt. I'm using a sea salt. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to put much of that. I'm reaching for my sausage and this is what it looks like so it's just partly cooked but golden brown i'm going to pour this now into the container with a little bit of paper towel to drain off the oil 
So now let's start layering our carrots. Um, you can cut these uh, whichever way. I got them sort of on a little slant um, just to make that longer piece, but you can do round, but definitely nice and thin because you want for all this to cook even, evenly. Um, I'm going to say probably cook it in a 350 degree oven for about an hour or until tender. Remember that we're only using <coughs> excuse me, vegetables and just one uh, meat of choice which is partly cooked so you don't have to worry about uh, not all being equally equally cooked. So, so we're just going to continue layering this. You might get an extra potato or something that's mixed in with it because I put it all in the same bowl. So it looked like that. Lightly season this one again and then that's done. Okay, it's moving along nicely and it, um, the sausage smells good as well. So now what we're going to do, we're going to sprinkle the rice over the top. So evenly sprinkle the rice over the top of your vegetables and I'm sure you're going to get a few on your, can, on your counter as well, but that's fine. Then you're going to take your green peas with the juice and you can get the canned green peas. Um, I like using frozen green peas, but this recipe calls for the green peas with the juice, unless you, you want to boil down your, green, your frozen green peas and then use that juice, and that'll be about probably a half a cup. So that's evenly spread over there like that. This is starting to look uh, delicious and amazing. Um, um, like you said, the colors, I like all the colors. And right now it's a vegetarian dish if this is all you want and then the tomato soup. But once I add the sausage, well, we'll take it to a different level then. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna use another little bit of pepper. And just so it's evenly seasoned in between. And as you can see, I'm not using much salt or pepper, just enough to just season it lightly. So now I'm going to use the sausage. Remember it's partly cooked. I just didn't want all of that grease to, to go down over the vegetables because you don't need it. Um, you just need the flavor. And with it lightly uh, fried, it's, uh, it's got that nice caramel taste too. So. so you just keep layering the sausage all over the top. Again, if there's any ingredient in this dish that you don't like or a family member don't like, substitute it. I'm not going to know anyway. I won't know that you changed the recipe. Um, make it your own and enjoy doing it. I think you're going to love this dish. We used to love it as uh, children when Dad would make it. I mean, he used to do it on the stove top, on a wooden stove, with his um, cast iron uh, frying pan and cover it with a lid, but uh, I'm not as courageous as him, so I think I'm just going to do it in the oven. So what we're going to do now, this is our seventh layer. We're going to take the tomato soup that's diluted with water, and if you don't want to just use water, you could use a broth. You might have a vegetable broth that you already got made in the fridge, and if you want it a little bit more flavor, you can do a chicken stock or a beef stock. That's entirely up to you. But I just use plain old water there now, so that all goes over the top like this. So this is what your dish is going to look like. Of course, when it starts to cook, it's going to, to sink down a little. Um, I'm just going to grab some foil wrap there now, and we'll put it over the top, and I'll show you what that's like. Okay, so I'm just going to get a, a cup of foil wrap. So this is your dish. We're going to cover it. Pinch it all the way down so that the steam is locked in. You don't need to put any more seasonings over at this point because you've, got, you've seasoned it in between. The sausage was lightly seasoned while it was frying. Um, 350 degree oven for about an hour or until the vegetables are tender. Um, you, if you want to check it in between, that's fine. And if you want to put it on a cookie sheet, in your oven just in case you do get a little bit of bubbling and it splatter out a little in your oven. That's entirely up to you. You definitely know what your oven cooks like. Um, okay, meet me back here when it's cooked and I'll show you what the results are. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, welcome back to Valida's Kitchen. Our seven layer dinner is now cooked. Um, it took about an hour and 25 minutes. I was saying uh, just on the last clip that it take about an hour or so, depending on your oven. Um, and uh, But before I open it, because it's it's actually boiling hot there now, I just want to, um, to recap a few things. Uh, when you're making this meal, of course, seven layers, because of the seven ingredients that you're putting into it. Um, if it's an ingredient in there that you don't like, uh, onions or maybe the carrot or whatnot, you can add or substitute that vegetable with another vegetable. And if it's the onion, you could probably use onion seasoning and then another vegetable. So let's uh, reveal our dinner. Okay, now comes the big reveal. Lots of steam. So be careful you don't uh, burn yourself. Um, so now let's scoop up a nice big helping and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, smells absolutely delicious in here. I'm gonna scoop up now a nice big helping. And, oh my, that looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try to get some sausage in with that. Like you said, now this this is a very hearty meal for your family, and it don't take a long time to do. You can peel your vegetables um, the night before even, and uh, have it sitting in your fridge um, on some water. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of green onion. I'm pouring myself up a, a cup of tea. So now this is what you're going to get out of making that seven layer dinner for your family. So this is your seven layer dinner. I hope that you found this meal helpful for you because it's quite easy to make for your family and uh, I know you will love it. And this, like I said, it was a dish that my dad took great pride in making for us as kids and uh, we had it quite often um, because he was a vegetable uh, farmer. And uh, again, he cooked it on uh, his stove top with the wood stove and of course everything cooks really fast with that. I can't wait to start eating this now and having my cup of tea. So again I hope you found this meal helpful for you. Seven layer dinner. I'm going to post this recipe on my YouTube channel, uh, Facebook page and the website uh, bonnetdiskitchen.com. So uh, the recipe will be posted there with it as well. So remember when cooking this meal or any other meal you got to give it time, test it, check it in between. So thank you once again for joining us on Bonita's Kitchen and you have a wonderful day.